I'm back again, 2G from Caesar Graphics. Welcome to my channel, and I am Caesar. Today, we are going to be going straight into designing of spot poster. All right, now I'm doing this specially for my club because I'm a fan of AC Milan, and this Saturday, we're going to be playing with Inter Milan. All right, so if you need the exercise file, simply make use of the link in the description section of this video. All right, so let's dive into today's tutorial. So let's create a new document. So I'm going to click on file and I'm going to select new and I'm going to call this project match day. Okay. And my width is going to be 720. Height is going to be 900. And resolution is going to be 72. Color mode is going to be on RGB and I will leave every other settings the way they are. Click on the create uh, button now and I'm going to drag my background image and drop here like so. All right, then I'm going to drag the uh, image of um, Zeko and drop here. Okay, and I'm going to scale this down and I'm going to rotate it a bit. Hit the enter button and I'm going to drag the image of Raphael and drop here. All right. Okay, so I'm going to move the two images and just position this here. And this should be here. And then I'm going to select the enter key on my keyboard so let's start adding depth to uh, the players now so i'm going to start with zeko and i'm going to uh, hold on alt and click on the new layer icon and i'm going to call this black brush all right and i'm going to select the ok button then i'm going to hold on alt and place my mouse in between uh zeko's layer and the brush layer and until i see the arrow facing down with the white box and i'm going to click to clip that inside the layer of zeko here then i'm going to click on the levels adjustment and i'm going to change this to multiply for now and then i'm going to click on the clip icon just to make this affect the layer of zeko uh, i'm going to call this depths okay all right so one last uh layer again all right, and this is going to serve as the highlights of um, Zeko's face here. So I'm going to click on the clip icon again and just call this highlights. Okay, so let's do the same thing for Raphael. So uh, I'm going to be very fast with this. All right, so let's start with the Zeko layer. So I'm going to hide this for now, and I'm going to do the same thing here. So uh, for this, okay, uh, I'm only going to move this to this side because I really want this side of um, Zeko to be more, you know, darker. So I'm going to move this in like so. All right, and I'm going to select the layer mask of the depth layer which is the level adjustment and hit ctrl i to reverse the mask all right then i'm going to select the brush too then i'm going to change my flow here to 10 and make sure that your foreground here is set to white like mine so if yours is not set to white simply click on this icon and then it will automatically change to white and black for you or you can always use this icon here to switch the colors all right so i'm going to be on white and i'll go to my brush setting here and i'll make sure i'm on the brush too so I'm going to be on the soft round brush and I'm going to increase my brush size a bit. All right. Then I'm going to just apply the curve back to the scene. I'll zoom in and just add that back to the scene. All right. So the reason why we decided to change our flow to 10 is so as to be able to control the strength of our brush. So I'm just going to add this back here. right this is good so uh what i'm gonna do now is to go straight to the brush uh layer here and i'm gonna change this to black so i'm gonna click here and just use black here still make sure your flow is set to 10 like mine here and i'm gonna make this um three all right and i'm gonna gently apply that here like so all right okay this is good we can even just reduce the opacity of this a bit because i still want to see the um hand here all right so uh this is uh okay um okay you know what let's just add the levels to this side of the face all right because 
I still want to have that depth on this side of the face. Okay, so I'm just going to reduce this. Just this is here. Just let this stay like so. Okay, this is beautiful. And then for the face, go to the curve adjustment here, which is the highlight of the face, and go to property tab. I'm going to move this up like so and i'm going to make the same move again by selecting the layer uh, mask and hit ctrl i to reverse the mask so i'll reduce my brush size and i'm going to zoom in and then add the highlight to the face of my subjects so this is um okay Raphael here so i'm going to start with the the depth here which is the levels adjustment and i'm going to move this in like so all right and i'm going to hit ctrl i and select the brush to and increase my brush size now make sure your flow is set to 10 and i'm going to zoom in and then i'm going to just add the um, levels to the same like so all right I'm just going to push this here remove this here so for the hand i'm just going to add it to the hand like so so uh for the leg all right we need to add that to the leg Okay, then I'm gonna make this visible and increase my brush size here. And um, this time I'm gonna go with um, my brush settings here and turn on transfer because I have a graphics tablet here. All right, so people, if you don't have a graphics tablet, you can still make your flow 10. But for now, I'm gonna make my go back to 100 because I'm using a graphics tablet. So if I have a graphics tablet, you can just go with the same setting I'm using here. Okay, so I'm gonna gently apply this here right here i'm going to reduce the opacity of this okay and i'm just going to gently apply it here also now make sure your control here is set to pen pressure all right and just apply it here like so just to the same thing here okay i'll reduce the opacity a bit more so back to the levels I'm going to just uh, make this go back to 10 and turn off transfer, all right? I'm going to just apply this here like so, all right? Let me just apply it more here, 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 like that. So on the highlights, all right, so we need to increase the highlight here. So I'll go to the property tab here and just increase this and go to the layer mask and hit Ctrl I to reverse the mask and zoom in. And I'm going to reduce my brush size. Uh, so I'm going to just gently apply that here. All right, and I'm going to apply it here. I'm going to apply it here. Okay, like so. Another thing I'm, I'm going to do on this um, picture again is I'm going to create a new layer and call this lights. All right, and hit the enter key. Then I'm going to hold on Alt and clip this inside the uh, layer of Raphael here. All right, so I'm going to change this to white and I'm going to increase my smooth because i'm going to be drawing on the face of my subject here so i want to be i want to have that smooth movement of my pen all right so i'm going to make this um let's say 51 and this should be on 100 and i'll go straight to my brush settings tab here then go under my brush tip shape and select this um, soft round brush here okay so i'm going to activate transfer all right and Turn this off okay so i'm gonna just hold on all and then i'm gonna just dry here then we can reduce the opacity of this a bit and i'm gonna use the eraser tool to just fine tune this all right so i'm just gonna take this out from here like so all right then i'll select the brush tool again then turn off transfer make shape dynamic visible and i'm gonna just draw like so all right i'm going to add a gradient map so i'll activate the gradient map and change my blend mode here to multiply and i'll go to the gradient editor here i'll make this uh 
dark red all right so i'm gonna just move it here and just make it a bit darker like so i select the ok button then i'll double click to activate another slider here let's make it this touch of red all right so this should be this and select the ok button and this now have to be a lighter value of um, orange so i'll move this somewhere around here okay and um so i'll move this to this side because i really want to have that you know that that's dark shadow on this side of my project all right so i'm going to move this also so you can see what i'm doing so my focus is this side of my project all right so i'm going to move this to this side here let's just say here all right and i'm going to select the ok button then i'm going to select the brush too go to my brush settings go to the brush tip make sure you are on the soft round brush turn off shape dynamic if you have it checked and under my smooth here i'll make this go back to zero and my flow here is going to be on um 18 all right i'm going to hit ctrl i to reverse the mask and i'm going to zoom out and make sure that your foreground here is set to white and we need to start applying the gradient all right to make the gradient visible on the project again all right so i'm going to increase my brush size and just apply it here but i'm um, having this issue of um, this dark stuff here so we need to take it out all right and i'll go straight under the levels all right that's also another part where we need to clear the dark uh, part on our subject here all right so i'm going to make sure that my foreground here is set to black and i'm going to gently take it out from here like so all right so also on this side we need to take it out so i'm going to increase my brush size on the gradient map all right we need to also take this out from here hold on control and click on the thumbnail of Raphael here to activate my key because the applying of the brush i don't want it to go outside from the layer of my subject here okay so I'm going to control h to, to hide the mark here all right so i'm going to just take this out from here like so and just gently take it out all right and take it out take it out later uh, all right let's see okay this is good okay i think i over apply that so i'm going to just add it back again for but for the face here we need to take it out all right so i'm going to and just take it out from here and um for this i think i still need to add uh, more um curve here right so i'm going to activate curve adjustment and i'm going to move this down and just do the s curve on this and move this up a bit and just do this all right so let's see okay beautiful beautiful all right so we need to do the same thing here so i'm going to select the exact layer here and make sure i'm on the highlight of the face and activate curve and then do the s curve again all right so we need to click on the clip icon because i noticed that it's going outside of the close down layer here all right so i'm going to move this up here like so let's see what we have there yeah, this is good all right so the other thing i'm going to do again here is i only really have this red stuff on this side of my project so i'm going to click on the bg um, layer and create a new layer select the brush tool and i'm going to pick a color from here and just add uh, make it the higher value of the color increase my brush size make sure your flow is still set to 18 like mine here and i'm going to just gently apply this here all right we can change this to screen all right then just gently apply this here like so i'm going to hold down control and click on the thumbnail of this layer because i'm seeing that yellow um stuff from the gradient map here so i'm going to just take it out i'm going to take it out so i'm going to uh, make sure that my foreground is set to black and just take it out from here so i'm going to zoom in all right because i won't have that gradient effect on this side of my subject here so i'm going to switch to white and make sure i'm on the brush tool then i'm going to reduce my brush size and just apply it to this side of my subjects you know face all right so i'm going to switch to black because it's touching the jersey so we need to take it out so i'm just going to take it out from the jersey like so 
now switch to white again and add it so we use white to add and black to subtract all right so i'm going to just add it here add it here switch to black again and just take it out from the air all right we don't need it on the air all right this is good so let's do the same thing on the Zeco layer. So I'm going to hit Ctrl D to deselect the marquee and hold down Ctrl and click on the thumbnail of Zeco again and make sure you're on the thumbnail of the layer mask under the gradient map. I'm going to zoom in, increase my brush size and just gently apply the brush to the um, layer of Zeco. So we need to switch this to white and I'm going to just reduce my brush size and just apply it to the layer of Zeco here. I'm going to go straight under the highlight here and hold down control and click on the thumbnail of uh, Raphael here to activate a uh, marquee on it. And I'm going to set the brush to and switch to white here because we need to add more highlights to uh, the layer. I'm going to increase this or I'm going to make this go to 97 here and I'm going to reduce my brush size. And then I'm going to apply this white color here to the layer. But I need to hit Ctrl H to hide the marquee so we can see what we are doing. So I'm going to just apply that here like so. And I'm going to do the same move here. Just add it here and just, just then they add it here like so. We need to do the same thing to Zeko here. So I am going to um, hold down Ctrl and click on the thumbnail of Zeko's layer and create a new layer and call this light. All right, I'm going to select the OK button. Then I'm going to hold down Alt and clip this to just only Zeko's layer. So I'm going to hide this. All right, with Control H. And I'm going to just gently apply this here. All right, I'm going to do the same thing here. So we can even increase the size of the brush more and make sure that your brush is not too close to the body. So I'm just going to apply that from here. So I still have that soft light. So what I'm going to do next is to put this in a group. All right. So I'll call this players. I'm going to create a new layer. And I'm going to select the brush too. I'll call this red smoke. I'm going to change this to screen. Make sure that my flow here is set to let's make it 15 and I'm going to pick a color from here. All right. I'm going to make use of the red, the higher value of red here. And I'm going to just um, gently apply the brush to the project. Now, I think the uh, marquee is still around, is still around Deco's layer. So if I hit Ctrl H now, you see we have it around him. So always remember to hit Ctrl D. All right. To deselect the marquee. Let's make this, let's make it six. So I'm going to apply this here, apply it here. All right. Okay. So what, another thing I'm going to do again now is to add color balance here. And then, and then under my mid tone here, I'm going to add yellow because I want this side of my project to have this yellow feel. So I'm going to move this to this side. All right, and only just make it orange. So I'm just going to move this here to just make it have that orange look on it. So this jersey of Raphael here is too bright for me. So I'll go back to um, uh, Raphael's uh, levels adjustment here and select the layer mask of Raphael here. I'm going to select the brush to make sure this is set. Your foreground is set to white and I'm going to just apply this to the jersey. But we need to just make this be around um, 20. 20 is fine and just you know make apply it to the jersey all right this is good to create a new layer and call these lights all right i'm gonna call this light or let us leg glow hold down alt and sample a color from here but make sure you're on the brush too when you're doing this so i'm gonna hold down alt and sample a color from here now make sure that this is set to 100 and i'm gonna just click once Add some here and change this to screen. So I'm going to hold on Alt and click on the new layer button again here. And I'm going to call this light. I'm going to reduce my brush size this time. This should be smaller to the very first one. And I'm going to make this um, the lighter value of that yellow. All right, so I'm going to click once and I'm going to click again. And I'll change this to screen. All right. So this time I'm going to reduce the opacity of these two layers. All right, so this should be like so. Okay, uh, yeah, so we can even still increase, make the size bigger, and this should be here. Move this and just set this here. All right, this is good. 
so i'm going to make this a bit more higher i'm going to take, take the brush away from here so i'm going to select the razor tool and increase my brush size all right and i'm going to take it away from here and i'm going to do the same thing and take it away from here so we have this so what i'm going to do now is to stamp visible the project and take this to camera rock to do the final color grading so i'm going to hold down ctrl shift alt and e to do that and i'm going to convert this to a smart object so the reason why it's always good to convert your layer to a smart object just in case you're not okay with the settings you did on camera roll you can always go back by double clicking on the camera roll filter under the layer and then adjust your settings all right so i'm going to go straight to filter and select camera roll filter here okay so under my camera roll filter here i am going to start with the basics and i'm under my um, ex uh, contrast here i'm just going to move that down and increase the highlights like so all right and reduce the shadow because i really want to have this side of the project more you know uh you know darker right so for the texture i'm going to increase the texture because so i only i really want to have that tough look on their faces all right so for the clarity i'm just going to increase that also a bit so then under my uh under the details here i'm going to increase sharpening because i really want to add more contrast to the pixels so this should be here all right uh so i'm going to close this and then under my uh split tone here yeah i'm gonna just add more yellow to this side all right to the highlights on the project so i'm gonna move under yellow here and just add you know yellow to the project then um yeah so for the effect here i'm gonna add grain all right i'm gonna add grain to this so grain simply means noise here right so i'm adding noise to the project so i'm going to really add more noise to this and add vineyard to it because i really want to make that focus beyond my subjects here all right then i'm going to select the ok button and i'm going to start with the ac milan logo so i'm going to drag that and drop here and this should be somewhere around here i'm going to scale this down and I add the inter milan logo move this down and i'm going to type vs so then i'm gonna make this smaller the character i'm using is called the euro star black extended all right so i'm going to make a copy of this and this should be here and i'm going to call this i'm going to give this um the time all right okay and activate the filter so i just make this bigger a bit and this should be somewhere here i'll make a copy of this make this go down and i'm going to make this zero three okay and it's gonna be zero nine and twenty two all right then i'll make this smaller all right i'm gonna add track into this okay then i'm going to um, make a copy of this and position this here and i'm going to change this to the stadium paste it and this should go well a bit and it should be somewhere here i don't want tracking and i'm gonna adjust the leading all right so i'm gonna add space between the rows always remember to add space between the rows so i'm going to cut this out from here so I want to cut this out. I'm going to drag this and position this here because I'm converting my text here to a render type. And I'm going to move this to this side. All right, then I'll activate the filter transform and rotate it this way and make this bigger. Hit the enter key and I'm going to hold on alt and clip this inside the text. And this should be somewhere here. And I'm going to reduce the opacity of this a bit like so. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to position this here. All right, so I'm going to add a faded look to this project. So I'm going to hit the selective color adjustment here and I'll make sure my color here is set to blacks. So I'm going to push this back. So this needs to be here. So I'm going to increase the brightness. Okay, so I'll go back to camera roll. All right. And I'll double click on the camera filter here. Then I'll go straight on the basics here and i'm going to increase the exposure all right let's just make the exposure go higher and the white the the white here also need to go up like so it just need to go up a bit and i'm going to select the okay button all right so i'm going to convert this to an outline so i'm going to right click and say convert to 
um, shape and under my shape to here i have this property tab always so i'm going to change this to no fill and change this to this color here and use two here and i'm going to make this align to outside and i'm going to select the ok button and we're going to stop right here wow i'm glad you made it to the end of this tutorial if you have not subscribed remember to hit the subscribe button and i can wait to see your version of this um tutorial so if you're able to achieve this tutorial simply post it on your instagram page and remember to tag me my instagram handle is at scissor graphics and i'll see you again in the next one peace